Add two, three, fail nail six. One, two, three. Add, Add two. two. Four, five, six. Damn it. Good one. Red Raiders into the Big 12 quarterfinals at the Sprint Center in Kansas City on Thursday afternoon, taking on the top seeded Kansas Jayhawks. First half we start. Tech, though, already in an 8 0 hole. Dalen Robinson inside to Jordan Tolbert, able to slow the bleeding, and the Red Raiders on the board, down 8 to 2. KU, though, answering with another 7 0 run. Tech down 15 to 2. Jamal Williams, though, in the corner, back to within 10. And here come the Red Raiders, and here comes Dayon Kravich, the hero from Wednesday night with nine straight for the Red Raiders. That cutting it to a 19 to 15 ball game. 20 points on the night for Dayon Kravich. Three minutes to play now in the first half. Tolbert again inside two of his 13 points, and all of a sudden it's a two-point ball game. Jayhawks, though, close out the half on a 7-0 run and an early 10-0 run in the second half. Finally, Jay Crockett able to put an end to that. That to get back within 15, but the Jayhawks shooting 66% from the field as they go on to win this one 91 to 63. The final putting an end to the Red Raiders season, but plenty of valuable lessons learned along the way. Proud of the way the team played, and uh, I think that uh, you know going forward, uh, you know, as we battle and as we continue to move things forward, I think the guys that that played in that game today did a lot about establishing uh, uh, the, how hard Texas Tech basketball plays. And, and what you, and I think that our fan base can be proud of, of what we're looking to establish. We're really looking forward to the off season. Uh, we're going to have a strong off season, and um, we're going to come back stronger next year. We're very uh, optimistic about the future, and we're proud of what we've accomplished here. We're fighters, and we're going to fight till the end. And um, now it's just preparing. Now, now we know what we have, and we're we have a strong nucleus, and people are starting to get familiar with each other. And um, you know, the more practice we get with each other, we're going to be dangerous. In my mind, from where we've come from in October to where we are today, okay, proudly, guys, proudly, proudly, I can say that I'm very, very happy with what you guys have achieved and what you guys have endured and where you guys are now. You are better men. Forget about basketball team. I don't even want to talk about basketball. <coughs> you guys are better men, all right, better men today than you were in October. You, you've often heard me say that the most important thing is being the best team you can be by the end of the season. And the thing that I'm most impressed uh, as a, is they're the best people they can be by the end of the season. I think they become stronger as men, and, uh, and that's why they became stronger as a team. You guys, they sent their message loudly that this program is not on a decline. This program is on the rise. All right? And for that, I'm telling you right now, that's because of the guys that are sitting in those chairs. We made our fans proud and our fans base proud, and yeah. as a first year head coach, I couldn't ask for a better set of guys to handle the circumstances they did and turn a frown upside down and really play to the end. Plenty of lessons learned under Chris Walker this season, but with that putting an end to 2012-2013's season for Texas Tech TV. I'm Brandon Rowley. Attitude on three, family on six. One, two, three. Attitude. Four, five, six. Seven.